Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty, and I am back with another quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY for you. So we are going to be making a monogram sign. I've been wanting to do one for a while. So let's talk about what we're going to need. You're going to need some beads. These are the beads I pick up from Walmart. You're going to need some jute twine. This also is from Walmart and also at Hobby Lobby. I like the thicker twine for this project. You are going to need one of these Dollar Tree Welcome Our Wi-Fi Password Code is. You're going to need one of these signs or just some uh, square wood. I like this because I like the tag look of it. You're going to need some of this Dollar Tree vinyl, this faux leather. If you can get your hands on it, get it because I have not seen it at my Dollar Tree since they came out with it. It went quick and they have not restocked it. You're gonna need some of this nautical cord. You're gonna need some foam board, paint scraper, paint brush, chalk paint, a little bit of greenery of choice, and some ribbon. So let's go. Let's start by what I did was I took some, I'm crafting from my stash actually, and I love doing that because I feel like I'm getting something for free. Of course, it's not free. It's stuff that I paid for way back when, but I didn't pay for it immediately right now for this project. So it feels like I'm getting something for free. Anyway, you're going to need some of this foam board and I'm using foam board because I could not find my um, initial, I could not find a C in the size that I wanted. Um, so I just made one. I took a piece of just thin cardboard and freehanded a C just to give me a template. Then I put it on the foam board and I traced it out and then I cut it out and I cut out two of these because I wanted it to be kind of bulky, kind of thick. So when I, after I cut those two out, I glued them together. Then I took my faux leather. And I just cut my C out from the leather. Now you typically want to cut your C this way because that's the way it looks when you're looking at it. But the best way to do is cut it backwards so that when you cut your faux leather out, it fits on the side that you want it to fit on because it's not reversible. It's not either or. It does not look right. So ask me how I know. So I cut out my C out of the faux leather. I've been hoarding this because there's no more left and I don't want to use it all. So I've been very sparing with it. And then once you get your C cut out, you are going to have two of these foam C's and you're going to hot glue them together then you're going to take your faux leather and glue it down onto the C. And I used hot glue to glue mine down, which brings us to this point. That's what it looks like with the two pieces of foam board glued together. And then I glued the C in the faux leather down to the foam board. And because I wanted the edges of this C to look finished and I didn't want to see the foam board, I used my nautical cord to go around the foam board to clean it up and make it nice and neat. So this is where we are for camera's sake and trying to save time filming. I just talked you through the steps and this is what we end up with. Don't worry about this. You won't see it. So there's my C. And now I'm going to try to pop this off. I'm not sure. Oh, I was so worried it wasn't going to come off. That popped off so quick. I'm going to keep this because this is a chalkboard. Very nice to keep. And then I'm just going to cover this in some craft paper with some Dollar Tree stick glue. I have my jumbo glue stick just going to cover it with that.
now that I've got my little piece of paper cut out, which I didn't make you guys sit and watch me cut paper, but that's all you got to do is cut the paper out. Use a good amount of this glue stick. Yes, I'm putting glue over the hole and I'll just decide if I want to put my jute there or put my jute on the ends. Not sure which way I want to go with it. But I do like a finished look to my project. I'm just going to take my gator. And sand down those edges. Any excess glue. Let's wipe it off. I love the silicone mat because everything comes off this mat. Everything. Doesn't matter. Comes off. Clean up. Gotta clean up my extra glue. Okay. Now that that's done, all I'm gonna do is paint this black with my homemade acrylic chalk paint. Shout out to Holly over at Hot Humble Pie for the chalk paint recipe. I have not seen her recent video, but I think she's got three more chalk paints that. I don't even think are using chalk. I got to get over there and see what is going on because I know it's going to be something very useful to all of us who use a lot of chalk paint because it's not cheap at all. Yes, use your heat gun to get the sticker off the back. But that wasn't too bad. If I don't have to use it, I try not to. Now that it's all painted black, I'm going to go ahead and take my letter and place it where I want it. And I'm not worried about this hole because I am getting ready to cover that up right now. I'm going to have some greenery up there and a bow. Of course, it's not my craft if it doesn't have a bow. So just leave yourself room to do that. Take my hot glue and load the back of this up. And go ahead and stick it down. Okay. 
I am loving how this looks already. So I've got my little pieces of greenery. They're gonna go here. And I'm gonna put my bow on it and we are going to call it done. So I wasn't sure what fabric I wanted or what ribbon I wanted. And I really think I am going to go with the stripe. I really like that one. So we're going to do a little bit of a faux bow where you fold it, pinch it. And put some jute twine on it. And I'm going to go ahead and add my greenery in now as well. Before I add the twine. I'm going to add the greenery so I can twine it up all at once. Just like this. So I made my little bow with the twine and with the greenery. I'm going to hot glue that on, and then we're going to make a beaded hanger, and she is going to be done. Now I'm going to take my cord kind of measure out how long I want my hanger to be. It doesn't have to be very long. I'm going to tie a knot at this end. And grab a couple of these beads. And just string them. You can put some tape on the end to help you string these easier, or you can be reckless like me. No, be careful, you guys, truly, because you can burn yourself bad with hot glue because I have. So we'll let this sit. I kind of blow on a little bit. And then pinch it. Again, if you don't have asbestos fingers like I do, then use tape. Tape it. Do not do the hot glue method. Use tape, please. So I'm just going to string some beads. I like to string a couple and then tie a knot because it saves on the beads. You don't use as many beads if you tie a couple knots here and there. You don't have to use so many beads. And we're going to see if we can get one more knot. No, we're not going to be able to make it. So we're going to revamp this. Because <laughs> that's what crafting is. Not going to be able to make it quite that way. So we're going to do it this way. And again, we're saving on beads. Instead of three beads, we'll do two. Push your knot down so that it touches the beads. There we go. 
We'll do three in the middle. Then we'll make a knot. We'll do two on the end and make a knot. And hopefully this one will work. <laughs> it's just crafting, y'all. It's just crafting. There we have it. I'm going to open this up so that it kind of looks like the other side. Push that knot down. And this is our little handle. We're just going to hot glue it down just like that, and we are good to go. This is the finished product, and I loved how it came out. It is super cute. I made a bigger one for my front door, and then I did kind of a reverse, but I didn't have um, any more of the dark brown faux leather, so I just used what I had from Dollar Tree. And I love how it came out. I truly have been wanting my monogram initials for a while. And there are so many different ways you could switch this up. You could just freehand paint your initials if you don't have the wooden initial in the um, that I got from Joann's. Or you can use the foam board like I did when I made the C. It, there's so many ways you could do it. You can paint the background. You can use fabric for the background. You could use craft paper for the background whatever you want to do, but I think it looks so slick using um, the faux leather for the background on the D and for using the faux leather for the C on the other one. These are super cute. I love them and I hope you do too. So if you guys like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give it a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of D's cute and crafty family. And until I see you again, be blessed, be safe, and craft something beautiful today. Bye, guys.